So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create this two countdown timer using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. So last year I made a video on how to create countdown timer and the result is so amazing. Thank you guys for the likes and the comment. So I thought it's about time that I made an update on that very tutorial. Let's get straight to it. So on our timeline, go to your generator and your title sidebar. Under generators, make sure you select elements. Under elements, choose shapes, drag and drop on your timeline. Then go to your generator inspector side, that's on the right side of the software. Over there, we'll play with the parameters. So with a circle, we'll leave it that way. Fill, we'll leave it that way. Outline, we don't need that, so on. Take that. Go to your drop shadow opacity, drop it to zero. Now with the fill color, you can choose any color that you want. But with this tutorial, I'll go with gray color. So just choose that and close this. Go to your video panel side, under scale or let's change that to 60%. Now go back to the left side, under generators, select element element and element choose time code drag and drop on your timeline make sure it's still the same length with the shapes click on this side drag it to the middle and now go to your generator inspector side and play around the parameters so with the format we leave it the same way with the font we leave it the same way but if you want to change you can just click on this and select any font style you want and with the size we leave it the same way label we don't need that so we we'll delete projects over there with the font color, we leave it the same way with the white, but if you want to change it, you can just click on that and choose any color over here. Let's close that. With the background color, we don't need that. Click on that and then under opacity, just drag it to zero. Now this is what this eight figures is all about. With the first two digits, it shows you the hours and then the second two digits is the minutes. The third two digits, that's the seconds and also the last two digits, that's the frames. But with this tutorial, we'll just be going with the seconds. So this is what you do. Go to your video side. Let's make this big so we can see exactly how it looks like. Then under crop, click on this side. And with this, we just work on the left and the right side so with the right let's just drag it we just need a second so we just drag this then we'll do the same thing with the left side drag it till you clear the whole numbers off click on done click on this side choose fit so we can see exactly how it looks on the timeline so as you can see the numbers keep increasing and we want the opposite since it's a countdown so this is what you do click on the time code right click create a new compound clip with this we we'll just name it timer and still on the timer, click on this side, go to reverse clip, choose that. And this time around, as you can see, when you go forward, the numbers keep decreasing and that's the countdown effect that we want. So with this, I want it to look a little bit big. So I'll change the scale all to somewhere 200 percent and also i want it to be in the really dead center or the middle of the frame with this this what you do click on view go to show horizon and with this as you can see the lines will help you to get it really in the middle so with this i'll just work on the wires and just drag it downwards and now i like exactly how it looks like so i'll go back to view and then on select the show horizon so we can get it off the screen and with this next step you will need a template that i created for you guys you can get it in the description box below it's absolutely free all you got to do is download the file and drop it in the generator folder if you really want to know how to upload the plugins you can drop a comment down below and i'll make a short video on that so i assume you know that already so with this with my when you go to countdown under my generators you can see you have three templates and with this whatever we're doing with the first one you can do it exactly with the rest of the two so just choose the first template template one drag it on your timeline make sure it's the same length with the rest of them and now when you go to your generator inspector side it comes with the scale all and also the color and also the opacity so you can just change the size over here and also the color over here by just clicking on that and choosing any color but with this tutorial we'll go with the same red so with this what you do is change the size to 140 and then with the opacity let's change that to 15 percent i'll make a duplicate of the template that we have by clicking on alt and dragging upwards let's rename this so we don't confuse ourselves so with this rename clip let's change that to solid and this time around with the opacity we'll change it to 100 percent still on the solid go to your transition side type in clock drag and drop on the solid let's close this we don't need the ending transition so let's delete that click on the first transition stretch it to cover the solid still click on the transition make sure you really click on that go to the angle change it to 90 degrees then go to your edge treatment and the border let's change that to zero 
so now as you can see it goes clockwise but if you really want it to go counterclockwise this is what you do you just change it under directions and you just choose counterclockwise but with this tutorial we'll go with the clockwise so as you can see very simple and easy to achieve this effect using final cut pro 10. now let's go straight to the second method with this second method that's my favorite but it will take just few minutes of your time to really get it working well and when you get that you're gonna really love that with this just delete the first two that we have on our timeline click on the shapes make a duplicate of it click alt and drag upwards let's rename this small circle and now we go to our generator inspector side with the fill on take that we don't need that and click on outline you need that so we want to show it and with the color you can choose any color that you want but with this tutorial I'll still go with the gray close that with the width let's change it to 33 and I'll go back to your video inspector side over there let's change the percentage to 65 and now as you can see we have something like this and we have space in between the two so now what you do is click on the small circle make a duplicate of that press alt and drag upwards let's change the name of this too and this time around we'll change it to middle circle let's go to your generator inspector side and work on that with the outline color we'll change it to a different color with this tutorial I'll go with green close that go back to your video inspector side change the size to 62 now let's make this big so you can see exactly how it looks like as you can see the green circle is right in between the two that we created earlier on now make sure you click on the middle circle go to your transition side you choose clock drag and drop on your middle circle let's close this with the ending transition we don't need that so we we'll delete that just like the first one that we created drag this to cover the middle circle now click on the transition go to the angle change it to 90 degrees and also with the edge treatment let's change the border to zero percent and from this you can leave it this way it looks cool but the next thing we're gonna do we'll add a little bit touch to it and that will make it really super cool so with this go to your title side click on the titles the titles choose basic title drag and drop on your timeline make sure it's still the same length with the rest of them we're still on the basic title click on the test inspector side let's delete this now press ctrl command and then the space bar to bring the character viewer and over here there's another cool way to you can see we have emojis arrows bullets currencies and over there there's another cool way that you can add this to your captions or your test when it comes to final cut pro 10. so with this we'll just go with bullets and stars choose this very one drag and drop in the test space now close this scroll down under face let's change the color we want it to be the same color with the middle circle so we choose green close this and now click on the small circle or the dots that we just created drag it upwards we just want it to be right at this space now this is what you do go to your first frame make sure you are on the basic title and with this we just want to animate the small green circle we created to go with the same speed with the green circle so this is what you do click on that and be on the first frame go to your rotation make a keyframe over there and if you want to know more in depth about keyframes i'll leave a video over here i made a video explaining what keyframes is all about when it comes to final cut pro 10. so now with this go to your last but one frame make another keyframe over there and this time around we'll change the values to negative 360 and with that it's gonna go with the same clockwise with a green circle that we have now go back this where you put in a little bit work to make it really look cool as you can see when i scroll forward it doesn't go with the same speed with the green circle we have so with this what you do is go a little bit forward still on the basic title and then work on your rotation so you set a new keyframe so it will follow the green circle that we have let's drag it to somewhere here and with this i'm gonna go fast but just repeat the process and make sure it goes with the same green circle and now if you really enjoy watching this or learn something from this then you're gonna love this playlist that i created for you guys catch you guys on the next one peace